Hey, what's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Doc Reed, your favorite relationship and life coach out here one more time telling you what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know. Listen, ladies, I know based off the way that we as men act sometimes, it makes you feel like um, we don't go through heartbreak. Or at least we don't go through heartbreak in the same way that you go through heartbreak. That couldn't be further from the truth. And even if we talk about narcissism, you know, people who don't experience empathy, that's really only about 1% of the population, they say, right? And, you know, I was reflecting back on the first time I got my heart broke. I mean, I didn't know what was going on. My, I was in this heartbroken state for about a year. I was in high school. It's about, you know, 16 or something like that. And it was the worst pain that I had ever experienced in my entire life. It's like having a, a toothache and an earache and your knees hurt all at the same time. You can't take any Advil. You can't take Tylenol, anything, you know, to get rid of it. And... That's why I always say that, you know, I always say uh, guys always come back, right? Because if you, if a guy's falling in love with you, listen, nine times out of 10, he's coming back if you've left him because for whatever reason he was wasting your time or whatever. But the reality is we as men, we hurt just like women when we're going through heartbreak. I mean, we cry. I mean, we, 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 we talk to our friends about it. like, You know, that high pitch squeal cry. Yeah, we go through all of that. You know, um, we play sad songs. I mean, Luther Vandross is on rotation. We sit in dark rooms, stare at the wall uh, and then we cry some more. OK, so I, I, I did all that for about a year. Uh, first time I got my heart broke. And it's, it's one of those things that you're like, I never, ever want to experience this again in life. Right. That's the impact that it has on us. So typically there are two scenarios, right, where. Say that uh, uh, you as a man, you know, uh, well, say a man wants to be with a woman and say she doesn't want to be with him. Like, you, you know, like maybe she's emotionally unavailable or she just don't want him. OK. And he he gets the rejection thing. Right. You know, that can be one scenario or a scenario where you are with a woman. OK. And after she has determined that you basically are wasting her time. Uh, I, I would call this a high value woman. Then she leaves you. Okay. She's done. I'm not doing this. And uh, in, in this scenario, the latter scenario it's, it's very clear that I, I care for you. You care for me. Okay. But, but the guy essentially is wasting your time. You can tell he's wasting your time. The relationship is not moving. And then you come to the realization as a high value woman, you say, Hey, listen, I'm not taking your crap you know, I'm done. I'm walking away. Okay. And now the reality of this ladies is the guy does not know that his heart has been infected. Okay. That he has fallen in love with this woman. Now, oftentimes guys don't even realize this. Okay. Because we're not just sitting around, you know, asking, am I in love? I think I'm in love. Oh my God. No, no, no. We don't, we don't do that. See, a guy really don't realize that he's falling in love oftentimes, you know, until a woman, you know, leaves him or he's about to lose that woman. Like she tells you, hey, listen, I'm not dealing with this anymore. You go and do you be blessed and live your best life and all that, but I'm out. And then that kind of wakes him up. Right. And so, you know, I always say that we as men aren't looking for the woman we can live with, but the woman we can't live without. And, and, and that, ladies, is so true. And scripture talks about when we find a wife, like we find a good thing. And we, we react differently to wives versus perpetual girlfriends. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like when we meet that woman that we know that's wifey material, um, we know that, man, I, I can really see myself with her. I mean, she's that good thing versus maybe just an okay thing. And let me tell you something, ladies, when you get to that point that, you, you know, you walk away from us because, you know, whatever we, we are stuck. Um, that pain for us that we go through once we have realized that we've fallen in love, that's very useful for us because that's worth a thousand counseling sessions for a man, right? It, it really is because it, it drives us back 
that pain. Oh, see, you're thinking, oh, see, he's just living the high life. And I don't care what you see on social media. I don't care how many bottles he's popping. I don't care how many parties you see him at. If his heart was infected by you, the, the wifey that you are, the goodness that you are, listen, he is having some sleepless nights. Trust me. And when you don't even realize that you have fallen in love, because I said that we fall in love the way that you cook a frog, right? Um, you, you put that frog in that warm water, you turn that warm that water up a little bit at a time, and then before he knows it, he's cooked and he can't jump out the water. That's how it happens for us. So if you look at a man's heart, okay, in general, a man's heart is he's guarded. Because he's afraid of being hurt. See, because when we experience some kind of pain or trauma in our past, we don't get no kind of counseling se session or therapy session on how to really deal with it. So in other words, when you grow up, you, you, you hurt your knee or something like that, you're told toughen up, you know, put some dirt on it and keep it moving. This is the extent of how to deal with your emotions for the most part when you're growing up, right? So you don't have the experience. So what you learn to do is push that pain down. All right. You, you learn to avoid trying to be vulnerable. Okay. So this is the condition of your average guy's heart here. Right. Um, I remember, so my, I, when I was dating my wife and, um, I was guarded, I was guarded from a previous situation and I, I had fallen in love the whole nights. I had all the symptoms, right. And she had basically uh, let me know, because we'll tell you all kind of things, be patient, you know, now they say we build in and all this kind of stuff. It's just a way of just saying I'm wasting your time. But um, she basically was saying, you know, what are we doing here? And, and, and I was like, well, you know, I, I told you, you know, we just hanging out, we having fun or whatever. So um, I really thought and I had prepared in my heart for about a millisecond that I was going to tell her that, um, hey, we had some fun, but, you know, I, I, I got to run. And, and, and what I didn't realize at the time is my heart had left my body. And and as I looked over at her, she's holding my heart right here. <laughs> said, you know, you know, I, my, my heart was like, I don't know where you think you're going because, you know, we're here to stay, you know. So I realized and I did what any, you know, uh, guy would do in that situation. I said, will you be my girlfriend? You know what I mean? Um, and about a year and a half later, you know, we were married. Uh, so the reality of that is the, the idea of being without her to me, mm -mm. you know, because I you understand, like I said, I went through that whole year deal, right? So I, I knew what that picture could look like. Um, so here's the deal, ladies. Now, and here's the big problem that I see right now, right? Is that uh, too many of you stay. Too many of you stay. Why? Because you need that validation from him um, for your self-worth. Uh, you tend to put others before yourself all the time. You're scared to be alone. Um, and, and, and ladies, if you're not willing to lose him, the reality is you can never really have him. I mean, that 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 is the honest to God truth, okay? And if you know that this is you, you fall in one of these categories, um, if, if, if you know you're scared to leave the relationship, you know, that is stuck, it ain't moving nowhere. Um, and the idea is, uh, you, you know at the real, you know the reality is that, um, you feel like, hey, I, I don't want to be alone. I, I, I'm, I'm really scared to be alone. I ain't going to front. Then listen, this is what I need you to do. I need you to reach out to me, schedule your free 30 minute consultation, because let me tell you something. Um, coaching will help you. Coaching will help you develop the courage, the courage to know your own value and to leave a man when he is wasting your time. Your time is too precious, ladies, okay? And you got to give a guy a wake-up call, okay? Because if not, he'll stay asleep. Also, uh, and go to my website, ChristopherReed.org, and um, schedule a free 30-minute consultation. Also, make sure you join me every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my Facebook group, where I talk about the topics, topics that matter to you most. Last time, we talked about how to develop the kind of confidence that men cannot resist, okay? Because we don't get turned on by insecurity, ladies. So, hey, make sure you uh, check that out. And listen, I got to get out of here. My time is up. Peace.